Well, hi and good morning, everybody. And hey, before I get working back on this radio, I just wanted to make a few comments about my uh, shop isolation videos. I've, I've posted two. I've got at least another one in the can. Uh, I did that investigation a day or so after the lights went out in my shop. And, uh, and I have not resolved everything yet, so it's still open questions. But I just want to drop this video uh, in for, for those of you who are paying close attention to this isolation stuff because, my gosh, there must be smoke coming out of some of your ears. I'm getting emails with uh, uh, complex uh, ideas around where this voltage is coming from and stuff. So I just want to make it really clear. I'm going to post the next video. That's from a week or more ago. So have a look at it. Um, it's going to show you some more curious stuff. I don't want to get into saying what exactly it shows. Um, but at this point, I just want to be really clear. There are two things which are causing me to continue this investigation. And I, maybe I haven't said them really clearly, so I'm going to say them now really clearly. The first one is, the lights went out in my shop. I still cannot explain how a fault current got pulled through the protective device on the isolation transformer. I can't figure that out. Okay, one possibility that a buddy of mine actually uh, saw is that when the dim light came on, okay, and I reached over to hit this switch to return it to this neutral position, I flicked it up, thereby putting full power, uh, taking, taking the dim bulb out of the circuit and putting full power on. That's the moment where the breaker opened. It still doesn't help me explain. Why it, why it operated. So that's one thing. Why did the breaker open? But what has really got my attention is why am I getting 145 volts or more on the case of this meter, depending upon how you measure it. You know, I, I've seen these, I've been doing this for decades, okay? So this is not something new to me, finding a little bit of voltage on the uh, case of an instrument like this or on a uh, radio with a, uh, a semi-live chassis, if I can call it that. I mean, I've been dealing with this stuff forever. One thing I've never seen is a voltage beyond the line voltage. I never, ever checked the chassis of anything to ground and found something greater than the line voltage. And in this case, I even checked the output voltage of the transformer inside this meter. The output voltage of the transformer is almost the same as line voltage. I think it's 135. Still doesn't explain 145. So that's what I'm after. You know, I, I love these kinds of things where stuff doesn't add up. That's what catches my attention. That's why I do this stuff. I don't do this stuff because I'm going down a road I'm so familiar with it's the same thing every day. That, that's not, that would not intrigue me. What intrigues me is when something happens and I, I just cannot explain it. Either I haven't got enough information in front of me, I put the pieces of the puzzle together wrong, I don't have all the pieces, something like that. Or, what I really like is there's a gap in my knowledge and I'm on my way to filling it. And that's what I think is happening here with the 145 volts. There's something going on here and, uh, and I certainly don't understand it yet. So, so, uh, so that's why I posted this video, just to calm everybody down a little bit. <laughs> uh, and. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you haven't been aware of it, I've been working away on this radio. You haven't seen any of the videos for this yet. I'm well into this one. And the other radio I've absolutely completed. I just haven't posted the videos because I'm scrambling around here so much doing all kinds of stuff. So that's the story. just wanted to put this video on to, to, to uh, for those of you who are really thinking hard about this, I, I, I just think it's fair that I, I, I throw this out there right now. So anyway, thanks for watching this, and I'm going to get back to working on this radio, which you will see. You will see the story of this one uh, down the road.